Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today I'm going to do a follow-up video on a past video I did called What Frequencies Do You Need to Program Into Your Emergency Radios? Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today I'm going to do a quick follow-up video uh, of a past video I did called What Frequencies Do You Need to Program Into Your Emergency Radios? So uh, that's a, one of my more popular videos, it's pushing 80 some thousand views at this point and since posting that I get a lot of questions about what I have programmed into my radios. In other words, they email me or they actually um, in the comment section they want a list so hey when you get a minute uh, send me a list of what's in your radios um, and I could I could think of this two different ways so I could have my tinfoil hat on and think it's some secret agent uh, you know CIA operative trying to figure out uh, monitoring me wanting to figure out if I'm dumb enough to give them what's in my radio um, or I could have the more common sense approach and it's just people that don't understand so let's take it at that so it's people that maybe not understand how radios work and I want to briefly discuss that so I don't have a problem sharing with what's in my radio, but here it really matters where your location is. So where I'm at, let's get, let me use this example. So I have a friend of mine that bought a Bay of Fang UV5R. He's about 50, 60 miles from me, and I told him I would help him with his radio. Within the Chirp software, you can clone radios. In other words, I can take the data out of my radio, clone it, and put it into his radio. Even with him only 50, 60 miles away, I would not clone my radio and give it to him. The reason is is because it wouldn't work. Um, probably 99% of all the frequencies that I give him wouldn't work. Some of them might, some of the ham frequencies, things like that. But overall, his radio wouldn't work at all. Wouldn't hear anything. Why? Because he's not in my area. When I say in my area, you literally need to be within probably 20 miles of me for what my frequency or my radios to matter to you. So that's my point is, let's use the example if um, I lived in Houston, um, Houston, Texas. Let's use that as an example. I'm going to pull in all the frequencies that matter to me for that particular area. In other words, Houston Police Department, Houston Fire Department. Uh, if there's a railroad system through there, maybe the Houston uh, radio or Houston uh, railway whatever system, if they have their own radio system. Uh, fire departments, EMS, any of that type stuff to monitor. If you're going to try monitor it on your radio or a scanner, those are the frequencies you need. In other words, if I had a scanner here today and I pulled in... Houston Police Department into that scanner, the frequencies, I'd never hear a thing. It's just the radios do not work that way. They're not like cell phones, you know, they don't go that distance, whatever. So keep that in mind that what matters is what's in your particular area within probably 30 miles or less. Get outside of that, it starts getting a little dicey. Could you go past that? Yes. Um, so let's use this example here. Uh, let's say, for instance, I met somebody just at an event, school event, whatever, and we got to talking, and he says, oh, I know who you are. You got a YouTube channel. I said, yeah, okay. He says, well, I've been interested in prepping. That's how I found you. Didn't realize you were my neighbor. We live near each other. I live, you know, such and such road, um, blah, blah, blah. Our kids go to school together. Okay, great. Hey, uh, he, he emails me later, maybe calls, sees me at the school again and says, Hey man, uh, I saw one of your videos about emergency radios and what to put in them. Uh, I bought me one of those UV5Rs you recommended. Do you mind helping me program my radio? And I would say, no, not at all, man. Come on over to the house or give it to me. I'll program it for you. Whatever. That way, because he is my neighbor, he is close. He's within, we all go to the same school district, churches, whatever. I could take my radio, clone it, and put it into his, or I could just give him a, a frequency list. Say, hey man, here's what I use, here's what I think is relevant for my area, you know, our area. Here, you use uh, what I've used, and you should be good. And he said, great, and he'd program it in. So my point is, it doesn't matter. Now, if you called me or emailed me and said, hey man, I, I know where you live based on conversations or whatever. We talked on an email before. 
I have a summer home or my parents live there and I spend three months out of the year right in your backyard area, um, would you mind sharing what frequencies you use? I'd like to have it when I'm in that area. Sure, not a problem. I'd give it to you. So just randomly emailing me or asking, hey, what do you put in your radios? Do you mind sending me a list? Is really not going to do you any good, to be honest with you. Now, I will tell you there is one thing that you can do, uh, and I'm probably going to do a video about this, but I'll touch on it briefly. Uh, if you look on my phone here, right there, it's called Scanner Radio. Now, when the grid's down, things like that, that's, this is not a good source, but this right here actually helps uh, a little bit. Uh, with communication, it's free of charge, doesn't cost you anything, and this has uh, gave me a lot of news information over the years uh, because what will happen is, like say during a mass shooting, and not every radio system is in that uh, app. So, matter of fact, I got a notification the other day that one was added. So, what the, like Chicago is like one of the number one uh, Chicago police zone 10 districts 10 and 11 it's like one of the most popular uh, top 50 scanners being used um, there's all kinds of ones in here the fire department uh, Worcestershire County in Massachusetts Polk County Iowa Green County I'm just kind of going over the thing here so my point is, this right here will actually give me an alert if something mass uh, or major has happened in a certain area. It could be a school shooting, could be an active shooter at a mall, whatever. And this sometimes, if the if this their system is in the the scanner radio system, the app, in other words, it'll actually shoot me an alert. Now you may not know because you're just getting the information right then. You may not know what's going on. You're just hearing the kind of the aftermath of what they're doing, staging and doing all that. So you still may not know even, you might know where it's at because it's going to show you. It's at Chicago or it's at whatever, right? Um, but you're not going to know the particulars of what's going on. So you might need to take do what I do and I'll start listening to other news feeds. I might go to one of the 24-hour news stations to see for a news alert. I might stay on Yahoo, refreshing their page to see if something pops up real quick. That way I can put two and two together and know that, okay, there's something happening in Boise, Idaho, and boom, it was an active shooter, blah, 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 and now I know what's going on. So that's helpful. So if you want to put that into your phone, it's called uh, Scanner Radio right there. Another thing I'll tell you uh, that'll be helpful with you is in in Chirp software, if you're using the UV5R, now Chirp works with some other radios too, but let's stick with the UV5R for a minute. Um, Repeater Book, which is that app right there, is oh, is actually, um, hang on a minute, is at Repeater Book right there. So they have an app, so you can find some of the frequencies that you need right there, possibly in that app. Uh, it's built into the software of Chirp. Uh, it's kind of a drop-down menu kind of thing, uh, drag it into your radio that way. Um, and then you're just going to use old-fashioned Google. You're going to figure out, you know, whatever, let's use Houston as the example again, Houston Police Department, Fire Department, all that. Pull all those frequencies out of the Internet uh, through Google or Yahoo, whatever search engine you prefer, and then that's how you're going to program your radio with that. So, anyway, hope that was helpful. Hope that uh, brings a little clarity and a little understanding. And uh, for all you secret G, uh, G men out there, I didn't fall for your tricks, okay? So there you go. Anyway, just kidding, guys. So if you got any questions, post those below. If you got anything you'd like to discuss about this, maybe help us along with the conversation, be sure to share that in the comment sections below. And as always, guys, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.